into my life. Right now, I'm doing some coursework. I'm learning sign language. So, as I'm doing this, I might kind of practice with you guys. So, I guess if you want to learn some stuff, then this might be the video to watch. Um, and while I'm talking to you guys about that, I'm also going to tell you a bit about, like, life updates, what's coming next on the channel, stuff like that. So, I guess, well, let's get into the video. Um, so, the first thing is, I am moving to. So, I have been really busy lately, um, between, like, packing and getting ready to move and all this other stuff. And then I've been doing the coursework, and I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff lately, so this video we might find kind of boring, but right now I'm learning about fingerspelling, um, in the sign language thing. I'm learning about the difference between contact letter and open-handed letters. So that's, like... For example, contact letters are when your first, your fist and your finger touch one another. So, so, so that would be like um, A E M N O S and T. So I think it's A E M N O S and then T. So do you see how like my hands are kind of closed? So that's why, or like there's contact like A, my fingers have contact with my fist. Does that make sense? And then there's open handed letters. So that's when my fingers are up and like the hand is outstretched. So that would be like B, C, D, F, G, H, I. Wouldn't J be one? Because J is But then the list doesn't say that it's J. But J was not. Is there another one? Oh, exceptions to the rule. J must be an exception. Okay. Anyways, so, and I'm learning about double letters, so like names, and there's, so the closed, or the contact ones, if there's like, for example, if your name was Manny, It'd be like M, no, that's N, sorry. It'd be M A N N Y. So the N you do twice. Then it's open letters. Apparently, you are made with a slight movement sideways. If your dominant hand is your right hand, then move to your right. If your dominant hand is your left hand, then move to your left. You always make the movement in outward direction away from you. So for me, because my dominant hand is my left hand, I would do like. Let's see. Actually, that's, I'm I'm gonna watch it, the video that the teacher put on. Maybe I'll mute it actually, so I don't get copyright. Um, I guess that'd be B. C. Oh yeah, I can't see. What's this supposed to be? Oh, I think this is B. This is F. I, yeah, I get confused between those two. G H I. Okay. So now that I have a little bit of an idea, I'm gonna pause that video. Um, in the next list, you're practice finger spelling words that have open handed double letters. Give it a try. So. The first word is Mary, so like M E R R Y, so it'd be M M E R R Y, I think. And then vacuum is B A C U U M. And puppy would be P U P. Wait, is this P or Q? No, I think this is... Let me try that one out. Also, I'm gonna, um, sorry, I'm moving on for a second because I'm also trying to see if I can, like, remember what the letter is before I go back and look because I'm trying to, like, make myself think of it. But while I'm thinking of that, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what I want the future of the channel to bring. So, I, like I said, I'm moving soon. And when I do that, I'm going to be, you know, settling in, and I kind of want to, I bought stuff to decorate my new room. 
So I was thinking of doing a haul where I like unpacked everything and kind of show you guys like me putting stuff away, the decoration process, all of that. Um, so comment down below if you'd want to see that because I think that could be really cool to show you guys like a moving day vlog. Um, I can't show you the entire house because I have a housemate or a roommate or whatever you want to call it and I can't obviously show them on camera without their permission and the first time I move in I don't want to be like hey can I film you no <laughs> um so I can't show the entire house but like my bedroom I can because like that's my own personal space you know so but I definitely if you guys want to see that then comment down below um yeah I don't remember what <laughs> hey we're gonna look this up what is P and Q in ASL. Which, by the way, there is more than one. So, a lot of people think that sign language is a universal language, and that's not true at all. Um, ASL is actually American Sign Language. I'm Canadian, but I don't actually know if there's a Canadian sign language. I should probably figure that out, but, um, yeah, I'll look that, I'll look that up afterwards. <laughs> this is why I get to, or this is why I get behind on coursework because I get distracted by things. But wait, this, this is, I don't understand this. Oh, that's because it's facing. Because it says that this is, that's not right. That's, just, that's not what somebody's hand looks like. Let's try this. I'm very confused. Very, very confused. Because it makes it look like P is pointing. Because this is Q. This is Q. It makes it look like P is. I thought P is supposed to be. This is K. Oh, I think, yeah, this is P. And this is Q. Oh. Okay. So this is K. And then P is an upside down K. And then this is G. And Q is like an upside down. We've got it. Okay. Anyways. So a lot of people think that like sign language is universal. It's not true at all. I'm in the ASL, which is American Sign Language. And there's things like French Sign Language and British Sign Language. And even in American Sign Language, there's more than one like version there's like asl and i think it's called mse and SEE and all that stuff i'm not going to get into that because you, you guys can tell like i'm not a professional i'm still learning but there's a lot of different videos and stuff like there's this one youtuber i watch um it's called the daily sign and she did a video a while ago explaining the difference between the three of them so if you want to go check out that video then it might help you and she also has a lot of music and stuff that she signs too so if you're interested in that at all i'd go check that out but, um, I think, sorry, I know this video is very, like, seems random, but like I said, I've been so busy lately that I was like, I thought you guys might find it kind of interesting learning along with me. So, let's go back to learning about double letters. Okay. So it gives words and says, now take a look at the first time you see words again, try to sign along. Way to go, shake your wrist, we'll wrap out, oh, the exception, so exceptions to this world, world, what, rule, have you ever heard the old adage, I don't know if I should read this word, word for word to you guys, because, I don't, I guess technically, it's educational purposes, so it wouldn't be copyright, but at the same time, Somebody did write this, thinking that it would be used for people taking the course. So I don't want to go and like take someone else's words. I don't actually know how that works. I should figure that out. There's a lot of things I need to figure out. Um, what else has happened interesting lately that you guys might like? I went to Build-A-Bear. Um, my boyfriend took me there. 
Well, actually, technically, my friend took me my boyfriend there in her car, but we're going to just, my boyfriend took me there, and we decided that it'd be a really cute day to go to Build-A-Bear. It was, except for, he couldn't, it was like a kiosk thing, so really, he's just like outside the road, but he had to be like a certain feet away, because technically he wasn't buying anything, he like couldn't come in, and then, no, that wasn't, nothing to do with how far away he was, he didn't come close because he had, he had drinks with us and he had to hold the drinks, something, I don't know, I don't remember, he, he had to be a certain, like, ways away, so it's basically just me, and then I got up to the part where, like, the guy was stuffing the bear, because it used to be, at least when I was younger, you did it yourself, it's changed now, I don't know if they changed that because, like, people got hurt or because of, um, things going on, YouTube doesn't like the word, it's 2020 when I'm filming this video, you know what I'm talking about, so I don't know what the reason was, but I, you didn't get to stuff it yourself, you basically just picked up the bear and they did the rest for you, which kind of took the fun out of it, but I was like, whatever, it just smells good, so, and then, um, the guy turns around to me and basically has me do this dance, that's like, kiss your bear and rub the heart all over it, and blah 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 and I'm sitting here being like I'm 21 years old and I'm having fun I build a bear and I will admit like I feel like stuffed animals they're fun no shame but at the same time I don't think that I want to be dancing in the middle of the mall being like with my eyes closed raising my hands up in the air being like I love my bear little embarrassing and my poor boyfriend was standing there being like oh my god and my friends were over in the corner I don't even I don't even know what their reaction was to it I haven't asked them yet, but I can just imagine them watching me do this random dance, and I'm like, it was kind of nice though, because it made me take a few seconds out to just kind of like, let go, you know what I mean, like, I wasn't going to say no to, da to dancing, like, the guy was sitting there telling me to, there was a whole bunch of little kids in line behind me, and the poor little kid in line in front of me was terrified, he was doing the dance but crying, because he just wanted his teddy bear, and like, the guy was really nice, he said, but it's okay, buddy, like, the bear just wants to do this with you because the bear really wants to be your friend or something like that. And I was like, I can't watch this kid cry and then not do the dance myself. Like, I'm not heartless. And I was going to turn around and there's, like, a three-year-old in line behind me and be like, oh, I'm not doing the dance. I was like, I'll do it. Like, whatever. But I just can just imagine the people in the mall following, <laughs> or not following me around, but, like, walking around and, like, watching me do this dance and, like, I'm an adult at build a bear. Hey. But um should I show you guys what I got? No, I think I'm gonna leave that for when I do my move in haul. I'm just I'll probably for my stuffed animals. It'll be in the no, no, I'm gonna show you what I got about the bear. It was really cute. So much for this. Of course work, I'm taking these off. So much for the oh my god, I have a bruise. Of course work. But I feel like my face looks so weird now without glasses on. I've gotten so used to them that now when I take them off, probably also because I'm missing half an eyebrow. So I got two things. The first one was, in case you guys are wondering, a unicorn. Because I'm 21 years old and I still like unicorns. And the second thing was, we're coming into the dark here, guys. This teddy bear that smells absolutely amazing because I put a scent into it. I just, yeah. And apparently it's from the second Frozen movie. So that one's wonderful. Let me just trip and fall. Okay? Cool. And I put my glasses where? No, seriously, where? Like, actually, where did I put my glasses? Okay. I took them off to walk towards the bed. So they have to be I'm gonna come back when I find them. Okay. As you can see, I found them. Um, they were on the bed. But the other funny thing that happened when I was shopping was so at one point me and like I went with me, my two friends Caitlin Brandy, and then my boyfriend was with us. And we went to go get, um, a, 
birthday gift for Michaela. So, Caitlin wanted to get her a Charmed Aroma candle. So they were in Charmed Aroma, and I knew that, that like, I didn't wasn't getting anything from Charmed Aroma. So I went in there, I looked around a little bit, and I was like, there's something in here that I really want today. So, I left. And as we went inside the store, and I turned around to my boyfriend, I was like, they're probably going to be a few more minutes because they were looking for something specific. They couldn't find it. I don't actually think she did find it. I think she ended up going for something else. But I was like, sh they can't find it, so they're going to be a few minutes. I'm going to go to the bathroom. So I was on my way to, the to the bathroom. Excuse me, sorry. This guy in like one of those kiosks basically walks up to me, starts to hand me a pot, and he's like, hey, you. And of course I'm like, oh, hi, like, how are you? Being nice. And he's listening to City Council 1. <laughs> and he's like, turns around to me, he's like, oh, you're very pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he's like, how old are you? And I was like, I'm 21. He's like, oh my god, seriously? You look like you're 16. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. Like, I get that a lot. And a lot of people think, like, a lot of people think I either look way older or way younger than 21. Most people think I look younger than 21. Although I've been told that the glasses make me look older, and I was, what, I wasn't wearing my glasses at the time, so that must be why. He was like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. Like, I thought you were 16. You have really wonderful skin. And I'm like, okay, my skin is horrible right now for me. Like, you know, for some people, this is absolutely nothing, and I feel really bad complaining about it. But for me, sorry, I'm taking this off again, by the way. For me, this is horrible. But I was just like, oh my god, thank you. And he's like, can I sh no, he doesn't even say, like, can I show you my our product? He's like, will you be my model? I was like, of course I'll be your model. Like, I used to do modeling back in high school, as a lot of you guys know. And if you don't know, if you want me to tell you the story of that, then comment down below, and I will do that. But I was like, was like, yeah, sure, I'll be your model. And he's like, well, come sit in this chair. So I sat down in the chair, and he starts to show me the product. And I was like, oh, my God, like, this it was a moisturizer. And I was like, oh, my God, this is actually really, really good. And I was like, you know, it made my skin really soft. He put it, like, on my arm, and he was wearing gloves and everything. And, like, he disinfected, like, my arm first. It was, like, totally clean. But I was like, wow, like, my arm's really soft now. Like, this smells really good. This is a great product. And he's like, yeah, and it's not that bad of a price. It's $175 for the year. And I do not have $175 in my bank account. And I do not want a credit card. But I was like, $175 for an entire year's supply actually isn't that bad. It's a really good product. I turned around and was like, let me go talk to my friends because we're doing the shopping day. This seems like something they could actually be interested in. Let me talk to them, see if they would want to buy it. He wouldn't let me leave. He's like, well, let me show you this other product. And I was like, okay. Like, cool. So then he starts to show me the other product and it just, it got to the point where I was like, no, like I really have to go. And I was starting to get really uncomfortable because every single time I went to stand up, he basically just pulled me down, like, sit me down again and be like, no, let me show you this new product. Product. And at one point he's like, so what is it about it that, like, makes you not want to buy the product? Is it, like, the product itself? You don't like it or the price? And I was like, honestly, it's the price. Like, I don't have $175. And he's like, oh, well, let me see what I can do for you. And I was like, okay, like, I'll sit for a few more minutes because he's being nice and maybe he could, like, Instead of giving me a year supply for $175, he would just give me, like, a month supply, which would be... How much would that be, actually? Let's find this out. So... And I know a lot of you guys who are really good at math right now are just, like, have it figured out in your head and you're frustrated with me, but... So if it's $175 for the year, then we divide that by 12, because there's 12 bumps in the year, which would end up being, so about 14 bucks a month, and I think for the year, supply is a moisturizer and an exfoliator, if I remember correctly, so like really, $14 for moisturizer and exfoliator for the month is not bad, because I think that's almost what I pay now, so I was like, okay, cool, like maybe he's going to give me like a month supply or something that I'd be totally down for, no, he turned on, he's like, playing something about I can give you a coupon that gives you like, I think it was like 20 whatever percent off, and then, I think it was, it might have been half off, anyways, that gave me a percentage off, and then I can also tell him, there's like, complimentary lip balm, and I was like, 
okay, well, how much would that percentage be off? And he's like, well, it's like 80 something dollars. And I was like, I'm also not prepared to pay $80 for this, because again, I don't even have $80 in my bank account right now, not on top of um, the fact that I have bills, and I was like, he's like, oh yeah, I like understand the price, like, you're young, you're probably a student, I'm like, you probably have bills and stuff, I'm like, yeah, I'm like not gonna not pay my rent to buy this $195 thing. Like, even though my rent had already been paid at this point, but, like, you know what I mean? I, I have other bills, and I'm like, I'm not gonna not pay my bills so I can buy your moisturizer. Like, I, I like where you're going with this, and I was like, I know I'm in the mall, but this mall shopping trip is mostly just to, to buy a, well, actually, I had already bought a birthday gift for my friend. This is mostly just for me to be, like, with my other friend while she bought a birthday gift. So I'm like, I, no. So I'm sitting there being like, how do I leave? Like, it got to the point where, like, at first I was really nice because he was really nice, but at one point I was like, I wish I was a rude person. Like, I wish I was the type of person that could turn around and be like, no, I am no longer interested in your product. I sincerely was when you first started talking to me. I am now uncomfortable. You will not let me leave. This is harassment. Like, it is. But then finally I heard my friend turn around and go, um, Sierra, and I looked to her and I was like, oh, Caitlin, I'm so sorry, I know we're late, we have that thing we have to get to, and she, like, instantly knew what I was talking about, she's like, yeah, what are you doing, like, we're so late, you have to come, and I was like, I'm so sorry, like, I totally forgot, I got distracted, so finally, he's like, wait, wait, wait no, wait, let me do this one more thing, my friend was like, no, we have to go, and she, like, grabbed my hand and dragged me, because she knows that I'm not confrontational, and I like to please people, and I would have just sat back down, and I'm like, okay, show me another product, because sometimes I can turn on say no to people, but I just, I felt so bad, because he was so nice at first, I know they'll probably do it, but I just, I was like, I, I can't, I can't do it, Then finally she turns around, and she was like, what were you doing, I was like, I, I had to go to the bathroom, she's like, what, like, I still haven't peed yet, she's like, we'll find you another bathroom, that was interesting, but, and I'm sure, like, a lot more interesting things happened when we went shopping, actually, no, a lot more interesting things did happen, and I was like, I really wish I had filmed this shopping trip instead of, like, the last one, because the last one was really super boring, and this one was actually, like, I mean, interesting, so, I also lost my glasses at one point, which, that was stressful, and it probably would have been interesting on um, film because the glasses were in the car the entire time. But that, that's different. That's besides the point. So I think I'm going to end the video there. Like I said, I know it's very like all over the place. I just I've been really busy. I honestly didn't have time to film anything. But I like to make sure that I gave you guys videos. So I thought even just like a life update video would be fun. Let me know down below if you guys would like rather me on the weeks where like I'm really busy and I don't, but I don't have time to film and edit a lot. If you'd rather me do something like this where I just sit down and talk and maybe tell a couple stories, maybe teach you guys some of the things that I'm learning online. Like, in, I don't want to say school because it's not, that's how it's school. Um, but teach you guys some things, maybe involve you in things I'm doing while telling you stories. Or if you'd rather me, just skip it. Um, yeah. But anyways, I love you guys. Please stay safe and healthy. Cheers.